Narrow-mindedness can wear down the determination of kind-hearted individuals. I don't make absolute promises, as anything claiming to be perfect will inevitably have flaws. Money isn't the sole motivator for mischief and deception in this world. Remember, the devil didn't profit from deceiving Eve. The sea may seem serene, but beneath its beauty lies hidden danger, much like life's subtleties. Using hair oil, unless for medicinal purposes, may indicate a quirk in a mature man. Look, there it is, Moby Dick, like a massive snow-covered hill. There's a wisdom that brings sorrow, but there's also a sorrow that leads to madness. You can't conceal someone's true nature and spirit. Some endeavors benefit from a controlled disorderliness as the most effective approach. A purse without anything in it is as useless as a rag. Do we not spend much of our lives regretting actions we didn't fully understand at the time? Captain Veer stood motionless, lost in thought. He cried out passionately, struck dead by an angel of God. Yet that angel must hang. Even those who appear virtuous on the outside may be masking their troubles inside, just like dives. I'd rather face utter destruction than live a mundane and ordinary life. Let me be wrecked if I must. I experienced a change of heart. No longer did I harbor hatred and aggression towards the world. My soul is determined, following a path laid like iron rails. Time doesn't matter, whether past or future, eternity remains unchanged. We have already experienced nothingness. Ahab and his feverish sickness lay stretched together in one hammock. The scene was chaotic with small birds flying frantically over the vast, gaping abyss, while the relentless sea continued its ancient rhythm. We all have our mental struggles and brokenness that need healing. The warm, clear, fragrant, and abundant days were like exquisite Persian sherbet in crystal goblets. Long separation from civilization can return a person to a more primitive state, as nature intended. Rarely have I encountered a profound being who had anything substantial to offer this world, except when compelled to do so for survival. No philosophers understand us better than dogs and horses. True honesty is not determined by one's appearance. We are all tied to the uncertainties of life from birth, but it's only in facing sudden death that we realize life's constant dangers. It's better to have a good reputation through goodness rather than solely clinging to one's reputation. Ambition can be a sickness, and worldly success doesn't necessarily bring true fulfillment. In both humans and fish, wriggling can be a sign of weakness. Bartleby's response, I would prefer not to, surprised and alarmed me. Evil is a constant problem in the universe, and suppressing it in one place only causes it to emerge elsewhere. Deep truths are challenging to make popular, as genuine wisdom is profound. I will pursue that hated fish with unwavering determination, even if it takes me to perilous waters and the brink of damnation. 
If I were the wind, I'd refuse to blow upon such a wicked and miserable world. Where can we find our final peace, where we'll never set sail again? Is he mad? There must be something troubling him, like something that's amiss on a ship when it creaks. <laughs>